Now, India has conducted the first ever comprehensive census of the country's water bodies. The report stated that over half of India's 2.4 million water bodies are privately owned. It said that most of the water bodies are in West Bengal, followed by Uttar Pradesh, Andhra Pradesh, Odisha and Assam. The census provides a comprehensive inventory of India's water resources, including natural and man-made water bodies. According to a report, the water body is defined as natural or man-made units bound on all sides with some or no masonry work used for storing water. Here is a breakdown of this report. First, the location of these water bodies across India. 97% or 2.3 million water bodies are in rural areas, whereas 2.9% or not even 70,000 of these are in urban areas. Secondly, the nature of these water bodies, only 22% of India's water bodies are natural, the other 78% are artificial. This includes ponds, tanks, reservoirs, check dams and lakes. Now for a breakdown of the types of water bodies, 59.5% are ponds, 12.7% are tanks. You can refer to uh, the visuals on your screens right now, reservoirs comprise 12.1% of the water bodies and 9.3% are check tans. Lakes account for mega 0.9% and 2% are other types of water bodies. Out of the 2.4 million water bodies in India, 55.2% are privately owned, mostly by farmers or private bodies, whereas 44.8% are public property, mostly owned by panchayats and the respective states' governments. Lastly, coming to how many of the water bodies across India are being used, a massive 82.1% of the water bodies are in use, 1.6% of the total 2.4 million water bodies are encroached upon, while 16.3% of India's water bodies are not in use. Now, the gap between supply and demand of water, it's widened over time. India's water ministry is focused on conservation and management of water as a national resource. As a result, India is spearheading multiple ambitious programs on providing safe and adequate drinking water. On the program's focus of rejuvenating the Ganga River and its tributaries, whereas another is to improve the safety and operational performance of existing dams. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.